Hi guys, welcome to Azure Content. This is part 3 in Azure Synapse Analytics Real-Time Scenarios playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss how to copy data from web table to SQL table. So let's see what we are going to learn in this video. So we are going to see practically how to fetch the data from web table. So that is uh, any data present in the web page in the form of table. Okay, so it, it should have rows and columns in the web web page so that we need to fetch the data and load it into our SQL table with the same table structure that means the same number of rows and same number of columns it should uh, copy from web table and load it into our SQL table okay so in order to do that we uh, we have to use make use of the linked service present in ADF or Synapse so uh, when we create a linked service we can see there are three kinds of connectors that are providing us the facility to provide the uh, URL okay URL of the, some web page and then we can fetch the data from that particular URL so there are the three kinds of connectors are uh, web table connectors rest connector and HTTP connector so we will be seeing what is the difference among these three connectors okay we, when we can use uh, which kind of connector to get the data okay and also we will be seeing how to check the index of that web page uh, sorry web table using advanced editor in excel okay so let's see all of these in detail so i have a wikipedia page open here where they are uh, giving us the list of 100 movies in 100 years okay so we can easily get this kind of web table in any uh, web page so here you can see there are six columns and they and uh, these many rows are there that we need to store it into our sql table okay so all of these should have the similar structure that after loading into our sql table it should have six columns and these many rows so let's see how to do that let me go to synapse uh, and in this manage tab we can create a new link service so here we can see there is something called web table where we can pass the url for that particular uh, web page okay so uh, there are some other options as well to pass the url and get the data so if you see this rest service uh, this link service is also giving us the facility to provide the base url of uh, ui and uh, and then we can retrieve the data from that ui okay so similarly we have something called http where we have the option to provide the base url and get the data from the ui okay so in which context we should use which kind of connector let's discuss that in detail so web table connector is used to extract table content from an HTML web page. Okay. So uh, if you see any kind of HTML web page where the data is present in kind of uh, table structure, then we can make use of web table. Okay. Web table as the link service. And when uh, we can use REST, a REST API connector is that when we are copying data from RESTful APIs. So in the previous video, we are we have tried to copy the uh, data from REST API, right? So this is the JSON data that we loaded into our SQL table. Whenever we want to load data from this kind of uh, REST API, then we can make use of the REST connector. Okay, REST connector. And similarly, and the other kind is HTM, HTTP connector. So when we want to retrieve data from HTTP endpoint, that is, uh, there can be some URL which is used to uh, download some file so it may be excel file pdf file anything it can be any zip file so uh, we we can hit that http url and we can get some uh, file downloaded so here i have some sample data if i click on this it is automatically downloading some zip file okay so if if we want to uh, fetch the data from some uh, downloaded files then we can make use of the HTTP connector okay but in our case we want to load it from the web table so we can use the web table web table connector so let's go ahead and do that so let me provide the integration runtime so here is uh, the, uh, we want to use um, we, we don't have any option to use auto resolve integration runtime so we should uh, have a self-hosted IR I have already downloaded it in my local and uh, you can see 
this is the scene uh, annu dev uh, synapse so this is the same synapse workspace so i have uh, connected it to my synapse and uh, it is present in my machine so uh, we we need to use the self hosted ir so the prerequisite for using the web table connector is that we need to have a self hosted ir present in some machine okay it may be in your local or it may be present in some vm okay but you need to have a self hosted ir then we need to pass the urls so let me copy this and paste it either i can paste the whole url or i can just give the uh the original path okay that is the main path i will give the uh, uh the uh, relative path in in my data set okay so let's let me go ahead here the authentication type is anonymous we don't need any uh, authorization to connect to this ui so we can keep it anonymous so now let's uh, test the connection now okay so this connection is established let's create this link server and now what we have to do is we need to create a data set so let's go to this data tab and here in linked option we have the integration data set here we can create our new integration data set so let's create the data set which is also web table type okay so here we can give the linked service okay that we just created that is web1 and now we need to pass the index okay so i let me and just click it uh, click the okay and uh, we need to grab uh, the proper index for this so how will we uh, know what is the index for this web page that we'll also discuss so let me provide the path here first so this is the relative path make sure there is no spaces in the front okay now let me show you how to get this index okay so it may be the index may be it, it is starting with 0 or 1 or 2 anything it can be uh, but we need to see that uh, first how how we will uh, fetch the index so let's open the excel and here you see there is a option called data and here we have something called from web if you are not seeing it here you can go to get data and from other sources and from web so once you click that one pop up will appear and here we need to pass the full path as the url okay i think there is some space okay so once we click okay it will uh, give us the power query editor okay so let's wait for that okay give the pop up so now you can see these three options here we have the columns present okay these are the columns and this is the document and this is the list so don't worry about all this we just need uh, to go to this list option here we can see the exact data present in that web page now let's click on this transform data so once you click that we will be seeing that editor option power query editor okay okay so it is by default uh, selected as change type let's click on this source okay now once you click source we can uh, click on this advanced editor okay so once you click on advanced editor it will give you a pop up right like this so any web page uh, url that you are providing uh, that will that url will be populating here and uh, if you see this data one it that is equal to source one data okay so uh, uh, if you are providing some other url it it this it it can be source two url source uh, three url anything it can be inside this um, curly braces so this is what uh, we need to fetch okay so this is the index of that particular uh, web table so in this case it is one okay so let's go again and uh, give the index as one okay so uh, our data set is ready let's preview the data if we are uh, hitting the same web table or not okay so once this will be loaded we should be able to see the uh, exact data present here okay it should have six columns 
so let's see yeah here we have six columns and exact same data this we need to load into sql table so let's create a pipeline so whenever we want to load any data or move any data from one data source to another we need to use the copy data activity okay in the source we can provide the same data set that we just created that is web table one and in the sync we have a sql database uh, data set pointing to this data, sql database so let me see the table uh, which is used here so i have uh, pointed it to some other table let me create a new table okay test dot web table it will be so right now we don't have any uh, table called test dot web table that i can show you test dot web table is not present right now it is showing invalid object name so this table is not present right now but on the fly we will be creating this table okay so let's go ahead again in the pipeline and uh, in the source this data uh, set we have pointed and in the table option we can uh, click this auto create table so what it will do is it will create the table uh, exactly like uh, the source data set that is it will have six uh, it will have six columns with, with the same name as the header of this web table and the uh, rows it will be uh, fetching right so auto create table it will create the same schema as as present in the source data set okay uh, okay yeah so web table and then data set this is ready now, now let's uh, debug this let's wait for this execution to complete then we can check the data got loaded properly or not okay so it succeeded so let's go ahead again in the sql table and we can see the data got loaded in this test dot web table okay with the same number of column and uh, there are 123 rows present in that web table okay so this is how we can make use of that web table con connector and we can uh, fetch the data from any web table okay so the only thing that we need to do as a prerequisite prerequisite is we need to uh, check what is the index present in that uh, web table and uh, uh, also we need to establish the self hosted ir to uh, connect to that web table okay so that's it guys i hope this video was helpful uh, please like this video and uh, please subscribe to my channel thank you please stay tuned